Welcome to Harvesting for High Quality Silage from Lalamond Animal Nutrition. This video will review key points for harvesting and cutting forage to achieve the proper dry matter content and chop length. Other videos from Lalamond Animal Nutrition provide more detail on applying forage inoculants, creating drive over piles, covering and sealing silage, and the basics of silage safety. For more information about these and other areas of silage management, visit qualitysilage.com, lalamondanimalnutrition.com, or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel. Many factors affect the quality of silage delivered to your cattle. Some, like weather and equipment breakdowns, cannot be controlled. Other factors can be influenced by good management practices. This video will focus on areas of silage production where management can be optimized to produce the best quality silage for your cattle. Efficiency can be increased by producing high quality silages and increasing their proportion in the ration. The goal of ensiling is to preserve the original nutrients and dry matter of forage, which in turn creates high quality stable silage so it can be stored and fed throughout the year. Ensiling involves acidifying or pickling the crop under anaerobic conditions through the microbial or lactic acid fermentation. Ensiling is an anaerobic fermentation process involving the conversion of sugars into organic acids. Lactic acid is the main driver of the pH drop, while acetic and propionic acids are important for aerobic stability. Harvesting forage at optimum dry matter content maximizes nutrient preservation and feed intakes. For example, corn should be harvested at between 32 to 38 percent dry matter, or one half to two thirds milk line. Forages harvested below 30 percent dry matter could lose feed value due to clostridial fermentation and effluent runoff, while forages harvested at high dry matter levels are more prone to aerobic spoilage. A kernel processor is recommended for corn silage harvested at greater than 32 percent dry matter to increase starch digestibility. Chop length affects both ensiling and forage quality. A short chop length aids packing and minimizes air infiltration, while a longer chop length increases effective dietary fiber but makes packing more difficult. For example, corn that isn't processed or shredded should be chopped at a theoretical length of cut, or TLC, of a quarter inch to a half inch, 6 to 13 millimeters. Bagged silage will be further mechanically disrupted, suggesting a slightly longer chop length. For most other forage crops, chop length can vary from 1 quarter inch to 3 eighths inch, 6 to 10 millimeters, depending on how much of the ration consists of silage. To maintain good rumen function with all silage rations, 3 eighths inch TLC is generally preferred to shorter chop lengths. For more information about harvesting and chopping for high quality silage, visit qualitysilage.com, lalamondanimalnutrition.com, or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel.